All right, so I already got some of these uh, novelty bulbs, uh, you know, from Amazon. I mean, that's all it says, just novelty, novelty bulbs. So I should have paid a little closer attention because they're not all the same. You know, I mean, it makes sense, right? Uh, these are probably like hand adjusted, um, you know, as far as like the actual exact layout of those, uh, you know, filaments inside. So that's one right there, and I've got this other one. These are actually, yeah, so they're not, you can see they're different little flowers or whatever, right? So I would say, you know, that's going to play a role in how uh, the plasma is going to be excited in there. I'm not really sure if that matters. Basically, I think what's going to happen is um, I'm going to have maybe trouble making the toroid. I'm more actually interested in seeing how to maybe excite that gas. So I guess this would be neon, right? You no, know, it's not xenon. Xenon seems way cooler. Um, you know, so again, I got to grab one of those. But this is basically just um, trying to use the same physics, but with, you know, different type of gas mainly. And I'm hoping that what's going to happen is what I've seen, you know, in some of these other videos from these other guys. It basically starts exciting the gas to a point where you could hear it oscillating. You, know, you could you could hear like a ringing going on. Um, so I've actually already tried it on this circuit real quick. I can't remember which one it was, but all it really did was about 16 to 20 volts. I think I tried 20 volts. I'm going to start lower now, but... All it really did was just excite the hell out of all the gas in there. Just turned into like a, you know, just the whole thing started glowing. And, uh, you know, my first thought was like, all right, cool. I see a good amount of glow in there. You know, it's a decent amount of neon in there. But it wasn't trying to form any particular shape, right? So I've just kind of tossed this uh, zip tie on here to try to sort of close the circle a little bit. Because as I did move the bulb in and around, I could sort of see the shape of that. You know, high density of the voltage around there, the coil kind of following around, and I could see where it would sort of break right here, right? So, just trying to keep those uh, top windings tight because that's where the highest voltage is right here on this coil. And if the geometry is just right, I suppose it's going to work. Now, you know, I can already tell this has probably got too wide of a diameter on this coil right here. So, that's why I'm taking uh, this circuit. This is just sort of a low power setup I've had. Uh, I'm going to try to just rewind this to, you know, better shape around that bulb uh, to a diameter where I feel like it might excite that uh, gas pretty good, right? All right, so I'm going to start off with this bulb. Can't really tell which one it is right now. And I'm going to do uh, 16 volts. So I've got the scope probe on the drain right there. I'm just going to start turning the uh, gate voltage up. So let's just come on. You can see. So basically, that's actually pulling quite a bit. Let me cut it down a little bit. So that's uh, what 13 megahertz. Uh, it's pulling about 30 watts. You know, this, this uh, circuit you know, pulls quite a bit. Uh, we went out, got to turn the uh, gate back up. So you can see, basically, it's not really forming like a a, a pure cloud. I mean, I see like a, a like a real faint cloud in there. Uh, well, never mind. What the fuck? Okay, that's interesting. That just kind of happened out of nowhere. I suppose that's what typically happens. Yeah, and I can hear it. I can hear that bulb ringing due to the weird oscillations. And it, wow, that's really cool. It's got like these little beads in there. What the? I'm not sure what's going on there. Let me play with the gate voltage a little bit. Okay. Oh, so I can actually bring it in and out real easily just by turning the pot up. That's, so that's like 11.6 watts. I don't know if I could show that. So I'm just turning. I don't know if you can hear that. Wow, that's pretty cool. So it's like beads. I see like bigger beads with smaller beads in between them. And it's like <laughs> rotating around in a cool direction. And I move my hand. Over. So it didn't really like my hand being there. Okay, so now... I've got like a concentrated ball of gas in there, right? 
and it actually looks like it's hard to tell on camera it actually looks like a tiny toroid that's tried to form in the corner there in between the wall of the glass and that filament if I can turn the uh, brightness down and I'm gonna use this phone I could sort of see like a small center of a donut in there uh, the, the phone's not gonna capture it but yeah it's actually formed a smaller toroid in there in the corner so it's almost like that's just the nature of it keep let me see if I can keep the uh, brightness turned down so yeah I'm just playing with the with the uh, gate voltage here okay so it looks like just by playing with the gate it can go from forming a little tiny fat toroid here over in the corner just randomly because the uh it's probably sitting over there let me see if i can get it to happen on this side by uh leaning the glass on it so yeah it'll do that and then it'll do, form like the normal uh toroid and then it'll form if i turn the gate voltage down real low wants to do this weird funny oscillation with like the little uh, orbs so we'll call them orbs but so let me cut that back up okay so just coming on cutting it up okay so actually i think i'm gonna have to get it to the point to randomly excite that gas in there again to get it to do its thing and i guess what i really need to play with is um what voltage is okay there it goes so it kind of shot out now now it's kind of just the bulb is just kind of uh set upright almost perfectly in the middle well not really so now let me try playing with the voltage a little bit whoops all right it came back in on its own you see it kind of came in for the form the ball initially and then spread out into that cool little shape i'm not really sure why it's forming that shape like that very interesting so now i'm going to turn it to 17 volts so i lost it so i need to adjust the gate voltage again i guess it really doesn't matter what range of voltage i put it at so long as i adjust the gate now i'm just going to swing the pot back and forth So yeah, it swings from, you know, it's around the 10 watt range, goes a little bit under 10 watts. <clears throat> if I really crank up to uh, about the about as thick as it'll get before it <laughs> just turns into a big cloud. That's a little under uh, 12 watts. So yeah, it's just about, it's about 13 megahertz. This circuit actually, uh, you know, I've got that top winding squeezed together a little bit so it's actually not as high of a frequency as it normally is plus i've got the uh resonator that i usually run with it so yeah i'll say that is really cool how it uh how it rings like that you just hear that glass vibrating <laughs> from the freaking gas Hell yeah. So yeah, it's just like a legit floating uh, toroid in there. It just doesn't move around really. Unless it rotates from the beads. But see the general shape of it <clears throat> does not actually uniformly follow that coil, that winding there. You know, So it's not like some visual effect where it's just, you know, the voltage off the top of that coil. So that's pretty cool. And then obviously if I if I keep cutting the uh, power up, eventually just goes full blast. Now it's just a solid, just, just kind of a solid, no, um, just a cloud, no real defined toroid to see. But that's, I haven't quite seen that yet. I'm not sure what that is, but that's pretty cool how that kind of dances around like that. 
I don't know what that is. That's pretty cool. It's kind of wigging out there in the corner. So what I'm going to do is uh, cut that off. Let me see what this other bulb does. So it's a little warm. It's not hot or anything. It's just a little warm. So that's with that shape. All right. And throw this guy on. I'll just leave it at 17 volts. So that already looks to be a different color. And that didn't want to immediately excite or anything. So I'm just going to leave it to the point where still just kind of barely on yeah that one i don't know i just don't get the impression that one's going to do anything for me i don't know could try uh let me see i guess the problem is i can't really hold on to it while i'm trying to get it to do something there might be a particular orientation i have to put it to get that thing to even try to do something. Cut the power down. I don't know. It kind of seems like you don't want to blast full power. Yeah, so just imagine that right there is where, you know, you'd be cheating. You wouldn't actually have the toroid. Say that coil was a little more constricted around the bulb. And you just, you know, had the impression it's a toroid. It's, you know, just because it's the high concentration of the voltage there. So, I want to say that I, I see like the slightest little hint of gas down in there. Let me cut this one back on. Yeah, this one just, man. <laughs> that one just does whatever I want, no problem. Let me kind of lay it to the side now, see what I can do. So it kind of, yeah, so I can get that angry little ball over here in the corner that just wants to wig out. But then if I turn it up, I can get him to jump down to more of a toroid. It's a little hard to see. Let me cut the, if I cut my brightness all the way down, now you can, so it's like a little, little, Puff ball with no real definition, but I can see it's huddled over there in the corner, acting funny. And it turns into this small little toroid. It's really hard to see. It gets bigger and bigger and bigger, and then boom, turns into this cloud. And then eventually, yeah, as I was turning the uh, the pot way up, sort of endangering the circuit, that uh, you could tell that current was getting real concentrated. Started to turn a real, real deep pinkish purple. And again, so it just it just seems like for whatever reason, this particular one, this particular bulb doesn't want to work out. It just doesn't have the right gas, right concentration, the right layout of those filaments in there. Whatever it is, it's probably more about the gas concentration. I don't. It doesn't really appear like it cares so much about you know the <laughs> shape of all that stuff or whatever. It's just you can clearly see it's more of a different color there. So. It's actually still lights it back there. So they probably got, yeah, I mean, instantly right away that thing, you know, and it starts pulling, uh, you know, less current. But yeah, that's pretty cool. So again, I'm kind of surprised, you know, there's really no need for me to make a smaller one because, I mean, damn, that's, you know, it's not going to get better than that, right? So that kind of shocked me that, you know, I thought I was, I thought I would need to wind kind of coil that would really hug all the way around that glass so i was really looking at it wrong you know it's not it doesn't really look like it's so much about really shaping that plasma in a particular way it just naturally wants to do that right i don't know i don't know but that's what gets me i mean that's I'm not sure what's going on with that. 
you know, can't really can move it a little bit. Huh. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> that's, that's it for now. So again, this was the one that worked quite well for me. Again, that's the general shape of the coil. That doesn't really matter. I mean, in this case, you know, all the voltage, all the real high stuff is on the top here. I mean, it's just, as long as you got that top one, uh, that top wind sort of generally around the bulb seems like it should work maybe it even could be far more concentrated so long as you excite it just right but again i don't know it's a lot of stuff going on uh, but this one is the one that just wasn't trying to do jack nothing for me so i'm glad i got two of these because if i had just bought one i'd have got this one and then i've uh i probably would have got discouraged and frustrated uh but you know this one was magic of course so again if you're gonna buy these maybe off amazon or whatever i would recommend going with this one